Okay guys, so here is the T-Max I was running in yesterday's video. The one I put the little SH-18 engine in. And obviously you guys saw the video and the thing actually does really good with this engine. I think I'm going to keep it in there. Um, pretty much the only reason why I actually put it in there and took the Dynamite 19 out is wasn't an experiment. I just wanted to see how it was going to do. And so far I'm pretty impressed. I haven't really tuned it for performance yet. But uh, next time I take it out I'm going to do that. Uh, problems that I ran into were the exhaust header, the threads are kind of in poor shape so it, it loosened off a bit and caused an exhaust leak and um, kind of sprayed oil everywhere and made a bit of a mess. So I'm going to clean that up before I take it back out, probably today or tomorrow, we'll see. But uh, other than that, the braking went great, um, ran smooth, tuned easy, barely had to touch the carburetor at all. Uh, this pipe, this uh, GPM racing pipe that I got off eBay. Uh, it's fairly loud, but it seems to do pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with the little setup, actually. It was uh, pretty much just an experiment, like I said, to see, and so far I like it. And I am running the uh, factory uh, 2.5 gear uh, ratio. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but um, if any of you guys wanted to try it out, the only the hardest part is just snipping the crankshaft a little bit. Other than that, it'll drop right in. You just have to get creative with an exhaust. But uh, the fuel I was running in there was what they labeled it at the hobby shop was Backyard Basher 20%, which has 16% oil content. I don't really like Backyard Basher that much. I mean, if, I, if that's all I can get, I'll run it, but it's not my favorite. Usually with Backyard Basher, the label's different. It will say Backyard Basher on it. Um... I don't think that's the case. I think this is just Sidewinder 2012 mix. I think they kind of screwed up there. But, um, yeah, so this is what I'm running. Uh, this is what I did the break in with. And it tunes easy, runs good, smells nice too. So, um, yeah, it's great stuff. You guys can find this in your area. Uh, it's pretty common around here. This is uh, the same fuel or same brand. It's different, uh different blend, I guess, but... The thing is, I notice what's really weird about Sidewinder products now, and they never used to be like this, they only list nitro content. They don't list oil content anywhere. And I don't know why they stopped doing that, or if it's just a thing here in Canada. Um, maybe some of you guys down in the United States could tell me if it's the same thing there. Uh, I'd like to hear back from some of you on that. Because if you look at this gallon of Byron's, oh, focus, you can see it labels nitro content which is 20 percent and lubricant which is 12 percent uh with fuels like this if you're just going to be ripping around or racing it doesn't really matter i mean you don't really want any more than 12 percent oil content with rc cars i noticed if you get like 16 or 18 percent oil or something like traxxas fuel it just doesn't perform good uh the tuning window is smaller just nah, no good no fun at all um so stick with something like 20% nitro, no more than 12% oil, same with a 30% or a little less oil if you really want, up to you. Let me know, uh, let me know what you guys run uh, down in the comments below, I'd like to, uh, like to hear. Also a bit of a shout out uh, for a YouTuber. Here's his channel, I had to write it down because I couldn't remember it, but it's hybrid32494. And this guy right here, he does RC reviews and all sorts of stuff, and has a wicked channel. So you guys should go check him out soon. And uh, tell him I sent you over there. Anyways, guys, that's all for now. And you guys will see more on this little T-Max at a later date. Take it easy. Keep burning nitro out there.